In this video, we will see Kirchhoff's loss in the frequency domain. Question Find V of t and I of t in the circuit shown in figure. We have to find this V of t and this I of t in this circuit. Solution First of all, here we can see the voltage is given so Vs is equal to 10 cos 4t now if we compare this with standard equation which is V is equal to Vm cos omega t plus 5 so here this Vm is equal to 10 Vm is equal to 10 volts Vm is the maximum voltage. This omega is the angular frequency which is equal to 4. So, omega is equal to 4 radian per second. 4 radian per second. And here the value of phi is 0. So, phi is equal to 0. Also, here we can see the value of capacitance is given. So, C is equal to 0 0.1 farad. The value of resistance is given R is equal to phi u ohm. We have to find I and V. So, we have to find I and we have to find the value of V. Now, to find current I according to Ohm's law, I is equal to V upon Z. This is for AC circuit. So, here the voltage is given. It is in time domain format. If we convert this time domain to frequency domain, so it will be 10 at an angle 0 degree. It will be 10 at an angle 0 degree. So, it will be 10 at an angle 0 degree divided by impedance z so impedance z is given by here we can see this resistor and capacitor are connected in series so therefore impedance z will be r plus j x we know that this r is the resistance and this x is the reactance or we can write it like this r plus j this x can be replaced by xl minus xc here in this circuit the value of xl is 0 so it will be 0 here and the value of impedance will be z is equal to r minus j x c this xl will be 0 because here the xl value is the inductance value is not here so therefore z is equal to r minus j x c r minus j x c so we know that the value of r is phi ohm and this x c so let's calculate x c first x c is equal to 1 upon omega c so 1 upon the value of omega is here we can see the value of omega is 4 radian per second so it will be 4 multiplied with c the value of capacitance is 0 0.1 farad so 0 0.1 farad it is equal to 1 upon 4 into 0 0.1 so it is 2.5 2.5 and since it is capacitive reactance its unit will be ohm so here the value of i is equal to we can write 10 at an angle 0 degree divided by the value of resistance r which is phi u ohm so this will be phi u minus j and the value of xc the value of xc is 2.5 so it is 2.5 again we know that this is in polar form and this is in rectangular form and we know that multiplication and division 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन आर बेटर परफॉर्म्ड बेटर परफॉर्म्ड इन पोलर फॉर्म पोलर फॉर्म सो वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस फाइव माइनस जे टू पॉइंट फाइव इन टू इट्स इक्वेल एंड पोलर फॉर्म सो कन्वर्ट फाइव माइनस जे टू पॉइंट फाइव इन टू पोलर फॉर्म सो दिस विल बी फाइव माइनस जे टू पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल टू आर एट एन एंगल फाइव सो द वैल्यू ऑफ आर विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एट एन एंगल टेन इनवर्स ऑफ वाई बाय एक्स वेयर दिस फाइव इज एक्स एंड दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव इज वाई माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव इज वाई सो इट विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर दैट इज फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दैट इज माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर एट एन एंगल टेन इनवर्स ऑफ वाई बाय एक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज फाइव सो इट इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस इन ब्रैकेट माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर सो इट इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव नाइन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव नाइन एट एन एंगल टेन इनवर्स ऑफ दिस सो टेन इनवर्स ऑफ माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव इट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स डिग्री so here we can write i is equal to let's copy this from here and it is 5 minus j 2.5 is equal to this it is in rectangular form and it is in polar form so here this will be 10 at an angle 0 degree divided by 5.59 5. 59 at an angle minus 26.56 so therefore i is equal to 10 divided by 5.59 10 divided by 5.59 it is 1.788 1.788 at an angle this will be 0 degree minus minus 26.56 so this will be plus here so 26.56 degree this is the value of current and it is in polar form or phasor form or we can say it is in frequency domain format in time domain in time domain we can write it like this i of t is equal to i am cos omega t plus phi so i of t is equal to the value of i am is this 1.788 cos omega the value of omega is 4 radian per second so 4t plus the value of phi is 26.56 degree and since it is current so its unit will be ampere now we have to find the value of this voltage the voltage across capacitor so to find to find voltage across capacitor voltage across capacitor v is equal to it will be the we know that the relationship between voltage and current for capacitor is given by v is equal to 
I divided by J omega C. So we know the value of I. It is 1.788, 1.788 at an angle 26.56, 26.56 divided by J. J means 1 at an angle 90 degree. Omega, the value of omega is again 4 radian per second. So it will be 4 multiplied with C. The value of C is capacitance value is 0 0.1 farad. So 0 0.1. So therefore V is equal to 1.788 at an angle 26.56 divided by this 1 into 4 into 0 0.1 1 into 4 into 0 0.1 it is 0 0.4 0 0.4 at an angle 90 degree so therefore v is equal to v is equal to 1.788 divided by 4 1 divided by 0 0.4 so it is 1.788 divided by 0 0.4 it is 4.47 4.47 at an angle 26.56 minus 26.56 minus 90 degree so therefore v is equal to 4.47 at an angle 26. 56 minus 90 it is minus 63.44 degree so this is the value of voltage in phasor domain or frequency domain so in time domain in time domain this will be v is equal to Here we can write this is VC. So here in time domain, it can be written as VC or just V, V of T. This is this voltage. Here we can see this V. So it is equal to Vm cos omega T plus phi. So the value of Vm is 4.47 cos omega. The value of omega is 4 radian per second. So 4t plus the value of phi is it is minus. So minus 63.44 degree. And since it is a voltage, so its unit will be volts. So this is the voltage across capacitor. So this is how we can find the voltage and current in this circuit. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.